Hello, we are from AbOvo and we have developed an advanced planning solution for digital fleet management in Quintic. Today, rail operators are expected to operate more efficiently, maintain service and safety quality, meet ever-demanding passenger and cargo needs, and achieve more and more with shrinking budgets. The biggest challenge faced by the rail industry is to improve the operational and maintenance efficiency of its fleet. The planning challenge in this domain involves scheduling daily maintenance operations for thousands of locomotives across the planning network with limited resources. Furthermore, adapting the plan to handle frequent last-minute changes due to delays and unforeseen disruptions is a constant challenge. To overcome these challenges, one can leverage our intelligent, flexible planning and scheduling solution. AbOvo's digital fleet management solution provides the planner with op optimization and decision support to build the optimal schedule in minutes with the added flexibility to manually adjust parts of the plan. Our solution also has the ability to produce real-time status updates for all locomotives. Predictive maintenance can be used for predicting the malfunction in advance and taking preventative maintenance steps for it, thereby avoiding situations beforehand. The predictive maintenance repair solution is able to predict the time the maintenance will take for the malfunction using maintenance data history and analytics. Additionally, the solution can recommend the nearest workshop to carry out maintenance, considering availability of spare parts, machinery, and skilled technicians. Now, let's start planning. The planner starts his day by checking the dashboard. As the name suggests, this view updates the planner with the current plan status, with KPIs and critical malfunction alerts to take the required actions over time. The planner selects the model of the locomotive, and this is shown in the Gantt chart to display the real-time locomotive status. The blue line represents the current time bar moving over the planned time frame, and rows represent locomotives. As we can see, the green block shows the locomotive in production. The gray block shows the travel time of the locomotive to the workshop where it is scheduled for repair maintenance. The red block shows maintenance and it has orange to display waiting time for the locomotive to get service in that workshop. These features provide the planner with an overall status of the locomotive in their network. KPIs and visual aids assist the planner and ensure that they are making a valid, strong plan. Demand coverage for locomotives is the KPI which ensures that the current plan can cover demand for X amount of days with the available locomotives. This means that locomotives are in production within the network. Average frequency shows every X amount of weeks a locomotive of this model is going into maintenance. This KPI gives insight to enable the planner to build a future strategy and concentrate more on that model whose frequency is higher. Locks and maintenance displays the total number of locomotives currently in maintenance and not available for production. Average maintenance duration displays how long, on average, a locomotive of this model spends in maintenance. Moving on, the malfunctions per priority chart displays the total number of malfunctions according to priority for all of the particular model types of a locomotive. The next section we will examine is critical situation alerts. Now we will show how our model can quickly handle these types of critical situations. Critical malfunctions. This button displays all the critical malfunctions with priority level 1 and or 2 for the selected model. With red alerts, the planner is notified when a critical situation occurs so that they can take necessary actions to mitigate negative impacts on the plan. Lock release. After maintenance or repair is completed and the inspection passes, the locomotive is released to production automatically. Although it is important to know that some of the locomotives whose inspection tests are not passed require special attention for a fix. This button alerts the planner of any locomotive release alerts and gives direct access to trace the current report and work status for that locomotive. After planning all of the critical malfunctions, the planner can focus on planning regular maintenance. Step one is to select the locomotive. Here, the planner has the list of locomotives available for maintenance and or repair. The planner can select one locomotive here and then the list of malfunctions, if any, for this particular locomotive is displayed. 
The planner has the ability to view the unique status of each malfunction, providing insight as to any relevant remediation. Step two is to assign expected maintenance duration. Here, the planner can assign the recommended solution for this particular maintenance and or repair. The data provided from the history is shared with the planner, along with the most probable solution for the malfunction. An expected time frame for a fix is provided. The higher the percentage here, the better the fit. In the event that the planner receives additional information, he or she can manually select an option. This is essentially accommodation for the soft knowledge or additional knowledge of the planner. Step three is plan time. After assigning the workshop order, the planner can generate a time box for it. Here, the planner can schedule multiple repairs in one time box, depending on the total time required, given each individual repair. With our solution, the planner has the ability to automate this process and optimally generate the time box, considering the optimal utilization of resources. This generated time box needs to be assigned to one of the available workshops. The system can assign time boxes optimally or the planner can manually assign a time box using recommendations from the right-click menu or by using a visual aid, which is the map, to the right. As one can see, the map shows the availability of the workshop over time. The current position of the locomotive is shown with a red flag, while the blue flag shows the position over a different time frame. Assignment can be done using drag-and-drop features. Once an assignment has been made, malfunction status is updated and the effect on KPIs can be observed, such as change in number of critical malfunctions still open, distance traveled, average maintenance duration required for that particular model of locomotive, etc. The result that we will now examine is scheduling. Here, we can see a view of the overall workshop scheduling. Rows represent the track line in the workshop, and the planner can drag and drop the time box to initiate rescheduling if needed. KPIs assist the planner with adjusting the schedule to ensure on-time delivery. Next, I would like to discuss future planning scope. Currently, we are planning based on corrective maintenance demand, but our solution is also capable of adapting to preventative maintenance demand using real-time data from locomotive systems. In conclusion, in this video, we showed you how to plan your fleet maintenance with intelligent software support. Happy planning!